Today is our third day in a row of having a Gemini moon with a focus on words and language and communication with themes of writing and thinking and ideas and processing information, learning, curiosity, all those things. Um, so we continue today with those energies. And my videos of the last two days really gave you um, some insight into that Gemini energy and some of the best ways to work with it to support yourself and your own process and your own self-care. Later in the day today, the moon goes into Cancer. So heading into Cancer for most time zones by uh, Friday night and through the weekend. So we've got that cancer energy of caring, nurturing, emotions, focusing on comfort and needs and our, our feeling, you know, where we feel vulnerable and mushy and where we just need to take care of ourselves. So that's um, what we're going to be shifting into with the cancer moon over the weekend. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Friday, August 11th, and thank you for being here um, with this uh, third day in a row of Gemini. Again, you know, checking out the videos of my past two days. If you missed those, to get up to speed on what this Gemini energy is bringing, maybe to give you a little bit of perspective on what what showed up in your life the last two days because sometimes we can yeah you know, I know people have shared with me sometimes they watch these videos after the fact and it's like it helps them understand uh, the bigger picture of what was going on um, and just connect some of the dots so um, that's really fun and also last Sunday I did a video on the retrograde planets so um, we have some outer planets that are actually retrograde right now. Pluto, Neptune, Saturn. We also have Venus retrograde. And so last Sunday's video gave you a little deeper dive into what it means to be right now in um, the 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 soup of these retrograde planets and their own journeys, right? They're reviewing old territory and what that means and how it might show up in your life. So if you missed last Sunday's video, um, that was a great one to get you up to speed on that. I've also done a video in, in the past on the Venus retrograde. So I'm sure you can find that in um, my video history and some of the playlists. So um, so Venus retrograde, <laughs> Mercury is going to be going retrograde later this month. Uh, anyway, we are currently, as the moon shifts into Cancer later today, um, and again, shifting into that sign of caring and nurturing and needing to take care of our more vulnerable selves, um, our more, you know, addressing some of our deeper needs and our emotional experience. Um, we are, the, the Cancer Moon is an indication that we're coming to an end of the Cancer Moon cycle. So a month ago-ish, right, not quite a month, but um, in terms of moon cycles, <laughs> um, the we began this moon cycle with the Cancer New Moon, and that was on July 17th. So, uh, so we're, we're, we're coming full circle now, returning to that cancer energy, reviewing, okay, what have we learned about self-care, about our own needs, and how to take care of ourselves more effectively and at deeper levels, right? How can we uh, nourish ourselves, uh, you know, in body, mind, spirit, emotion, all of the ways that we need to regenerate. Um, and that uh, that deepening into our needs uh, that we've been working on this entire moon cycle um, is is you know sort of coming full circle as the moon returns to Cancer now, and it's like okay, let's do a little review of what we've learned, where we've uh, gone, where we've come to, you know, and then we're in, still integrating the things we've learned and putting them into practice. And this is going to be another opportunity to think about, okay, what do I need? How do I take care of myself? 
Um, how am I thinking about that differently than I did a month ago or I did when the last time the moon was in cancer? Um, and uh, and so, you know, an opportunity to kind of recognize how how we're learning and growing and doing things differently and taking care of ourselves even better. Um, so and and you might want to go back and review that cancer new moon video because it'll give you this overview of this moon cycle and and just kind of to look back at where we've been how we've been doing this work and what we're integrating um so i know i've been learning just a ton about my own needs and how to deepen you know it's like this is always a journey and so um there's always more to learn there's always a deeper place to discover within ourselves and uh, that deeper place of self-care um, has definitely unfolded for me. So I'm curious to hear how it's unfolding for you and if you are learning more about what you need and how to take care of yourself in better, uh, in ways that are more meaningful to you. And um, one of the things that cancer uh, speaks to is a need for healthy boundaries. So cancer is the crab. Um, a crabs have soft, mushy insides, just like we do. So the, the, the crab is vulnerable, right? And, and if you know that crabs um, molt, they shed their hard outer skin, and when they molt, they are extra vulnerable. Of course, right? They're more susceptible to predators. They're they're um, and so they have to, of course, um, you know, focus on their own safety at that time. But um, but for us, oh, I'm thinking of the crab. What? How did the crabs protect themselves when they're not molting? They have a hard exterior shell. <laughs> they have flaws. <laughs> they have ways to protect themselves and protect those soft innards. And so I would say, you know, um, certainly cancer energy can be a little bit snappish, right? And claw-like, um, but we want to, and hard or, you know, reactive emotionally. So we want to think about creating healthy boundaries for ourselves so that we are protecting those uh, vulnerable insides without causing harm to those around us. So, so thinking about healthy boundaries, what you need, how to take care of yourself and how to say no <laughs> when you need to say no so that um, you can take care of your needs, which is going to allow you to be more effective with the energy you do have. And um, doing your daily work, your way of showing up in the world from a place of having your batteries charged instead of depleted. So really, really important. And that's what we're learning and a chance to really deepen into that um, as we head into the Cancer Moon later today and over the weekend. So, uh, so we're going, of course, from Gemini energy, which is more mental, more focused on curiosity and ideas and problem solving into this like emotional place of we need to feel things we need to um uh you know focus on our needs and uh not so much you know so we're shifting out more more out of the mind and into the body and the emotional experience so um so we might feel vulnerable you might notice people around you getting snappish or maybe you're noticing yourself uh having that tendency sometimes so just noticing and paying attention and asking yourself what do i need how can i take care of myself um in a in a way that is going to um allow me to communicate my needs more effectively and take care of myself more effectively. Um, there you go. Great. Uh, you know, we're, we're coming full circle. We're heading into the Leo new moon, which is, will be coming up after this, after we go through the cancer moon. And so we'll shift then from that focus on self-care into Leo, which is self-expression, creativity. So, so we get to go from this, like, okay, taking care of ourselves, regenerating, nourishing ourselves to 
where we can shine our light, be out loud, be expressive, be dramatic, performative, be seen. So we we have to do this, right? We can't we can't go out into the light of day being our full, you know, authentic true selves unless we take care of the foundations first. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing this whole month focusing on and in particular with the moon in Cancer. So chance to sort of bring that full circle, ground it, anchor your self-care practices. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here with me for the Astrology for Unshakable Self-Care, for working on yourself, for um, embracing these holistic principles of body, mind, spirit, emotion, and how they show up through the symbolism of astrology. Really powerful stuff. So thanks for being here. And uh, you can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. You can purchase my books. Uh, you can book a session with me um, and uh, get support through your own chart. I have many readings uh, if you just want to get a sample, um, see how it works. And um, thank you for being here and for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't yet, if you've been watching these videos and enjoying them, this would be the perfect time to hit that button because it really supports my work. Um, thank you again for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.